This is my custom RC hovercraft and it's almost entirely 3D printed. But before we get to driving this thing, let's rewind a little bit and I'll show you how I built it. As for the design, I found this what seemed to be a fairly well designed and easy to print hovercraft on printables. The link to the files is in the description below. And what's even better, I already have all the electronic components needed for building this laying around at home. Actually, more like I ripped them out of some old failed projects of mine. Same thing as far as I can tell. Let's try this out. So here we have transmitter, receiver, a battery, a servo, one speed controller, two speed controllers, two motors, the 3D printed parts. All right, that should be pretty much everything we need to start building. Let's go. After I had wired up all the electronics, it was time to move on with the skirt. And for me, this was definitely the hardest part of the whole process. Just watch. Alright, so I've just cut the plastic bag to shape a little bit, just so we have a nice piece to work with here. And now the next step is to glue this inner edge of this frame here to the plastic bag and then cut out the middle. So let's do that now. Um. skirt. Now all that's left to do is to glue it onto here. Somehow. Let's try. Bruh. Oh that was that was way too much. Oh my god. Help me. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And it's melting oh the bag. God, bro. Oh hell no. Oh, yeah, I'll have to redo this. That's not good. Now the second version of my skirt actually sort of worked out, but it still had the issue of the skirt melting from the hot glue. And also I mounted it on a little bit crooked, so it was kind of hanging to one side. Anyways, after I installed it, I made a steering rudder out of a piece of wood and then went out for a quick test drive. Alright, looking pretty good. So overall the test was pretty successful, but the hovercraft does still have a couple of issues. Firstly, of course, the surface is way too rough, this was just to test out if it even works. And also in this clip it's not hovering completely, but it's also slightly skidding a little bit because I messed up the skirt a little. And lastly, it's missing a little bit of forward thrust, which I fixed with a propeller with more pitch after.
Alright, so I would say that was a fairly successful first test. Now obviously the skirt is all messed up now because it's not really made for asphalt with this little trash bag here. But that's okay, I just wanted to test it out real quick. And it's definitely a little um, unusual to control because you have to be on the throttle all the time in order to be able to steer at all. So yeah, it was a little bit difficult at first, but once I got the hang of it, it's pretty awesome to drive. Alright, so for the skirt I've decided to use uh, this different plastic bag that I found now. It's a lot thicker and it doesn't seem to melt as easily with the hot glue. So yeah, let's just try making a skirt from this one now. Hopefully it should be even more durable because it's also thicker and also easier to build. Let's see if this works. Alright, so let's just try this again then. So that works absolutely awesome. Let's build a better router now and then go test it out outside. I killed the servo. Maybe I have some better skills next time I drive this. Now, my hovercraft still wasn't working too great in these clips. The weight balance was just too far back, making the back end oscillate. In addition, the steering rudder and servo had zero protection, making them very prone to damaging crashes. But that all changed when I removed the onboard camera to shift the weight balance forward and added these M3 threaded rods in the back to protect the rudder and servo from impacts. By doing that, my hovercraft got really awesome. Just watch!
Now that was just so much fun. On Forest Lipo, this thing rips. And in terms of the running time, I drove through two of these 2200 mAh 3S packs, which lasted about 15 minutes each. And also one 4S 650 mAh pack, which lasted, I would say, 5 to 6 minutes. So the running time is pretty good as well, especially on these 3S. And about the modification I did with these threaded rods here in the back, it they worked really well in protecting the servo and rudder. It saved me in a couple of pretty hard crashes. Nope. Oh! Whoa! Let's see, is it fine? Yes! And yeah, the servo still works perfectly. The only damage I could really find on the hovercraft is on the skirt right here. Uh, I had a couple of frontal impacts as well, and it just made the glue come off here. It still hovers perfectly, but I'll just fix that with some more hot glue. And also, down here in the back, but that's really not bad at all. So I would say it held up great, it drives great, the steering is really good with this new rudder, because uh, I made it a little bit longer, so it pushes a little more air to the side as well. Um, the propeller in the back also works really well now and it is just crazy fast it's got a ton of power and yeah I would say this project was an absolute success I basically just took some old electronics I had in my parts bins 3d printed some parts put it all together and it works this well like this literally cost me zero monies to build. Now if you also have a 3D printer and want to build something like this, the files are down in the description below for you to download. In terms of parts cost, if you were to buy these, the motors are probably like 5 US dollars each, battery about 5 to 10, or 10 to 15, probably more like 10 to 15, uh, speed controllers 5 to 10 each, then you also need a receiver. If you already have a transmitter, the receiver is only going to be 5 to 10. If you need a transmitter with it, it's 20 to 30. And then you also need a servo, which this is just a really cheap 9 gram servo. These can be had for like literally 1 to 2 dollars. In addition, you would also need some miscellaneous stuff like connectors, screws, wires, stuff like that, but I think everyone who does projects like this would have stuff like that laying around. And you also need the propellers of course, which can be had in a pack of four for like five to ten dollars I would say. And the 3D printed parts, the material for those costs like, I don't know, I haven't checked, probably like five as well, but yeah. In total, this makes it a really cheap hovercraft for you to build yourself. And yeah, I would totally recommend it. As you can see, mine works absolutely great. Alright, see you in the next video. Have a great day and bye. So maybe forest is a little much. Got some scratches. All good though. Um, yeah.